All right, this is the uh, lesson 2.2, independent practice. You've hopefully had a chance to try these, and let's see how you did. Um, the first four are about changing a percent to a fraction and putting it in its simplest form, okay? So we know that anything going from a percent to a fraction, a percent is just how many out of 100. So if I have 2%, I have 2 out of 100. Now, I can definitely simplify that by cutting it in half, um, and that gets me 150. Okay? So, if I think about a test, and there's uh, 50 problems, I get one of them correct, I scored a 2% on the test. Um, not great. Okay. Let's look at uh, the 20%. 20% is 20 out of 100, okay? They both end in a zero, so I'm just going to get rid of the last zero here. So I have 2 tenths divided by 2 divided by 2 gives me 1 fifth, okay? So if I have a test that has five problems, I get one of them right. I just got a 20%. Or if I'm shooting free throws and I take five shots, I make one of them I've made 20%. All right, number three. 85% is 85 out of 100. Okay? Now, I know that both end in a 5, uh, 5 and a 0, so I can divide these both by 5. So let's do that. Divided by 5, divided by 5, equals, that's going to be 20. And 85 divided by 5 is going to be 17. Now, I can't go any smaller, so 17 out of 20 is 85%. So now on a test, if there's 20 questions, I get 17 of them correct. I've gotten 85%. Okay, so I'm getting more and more correct, almost uh, getting pretty close to getting them all correct. All right, let's do 4%. 4% is 4 out of 100, and I'm going to simplify that. I can divide each by 4, and that gets me 1, and that's 25. 1, 25, and that's my answer. Okay, let's go on here. Write a fraction, write each fraction as a percent, okay? I can use the model to help if needed. I like to just take it... Um, from this, I like to get it to 100. If I can get the bottom to 100, then I know I have my percent. So 10 times 10, I got to do the same to the top and the bottom. 2 times 10 is 20. So 2 out of 10 is 20%. Okay. Three-fourths. Three-fourths. I know I have quite a I have almost have everything. So I'm going to have a pretty good percentage. Um, but let's do three-fourths, and I think I can get the bottom to 100. Four times 25, and three times 25. Um, and if I do that, it is 75. So 75 percent. Okay. Next one. Seven twenties. Seven twenties. I'm gonna get that bottom to be a hundred. The way I do it is times five. And if I do this top, same to the top and bottom, I'm all good. Seven times five is thirty-five. So seven twenties is the same as thirty-five over a hundred. And because it's out of a hundred, it is thirty-five percent. Okay. And one more. 11.25 equals, I know I can get 25 to 100 by times it 4. So times 4 is 44. So 11 over 25 is 44%. Okay, let's do some word problems. Everybody's fun stuff. During his workout, Elon spent... 28% of the time on the treadmill. 
what fraction of his workout was on the treadmill? Well, if it was 28%, it was 28 over 100. Now I just have to simplify it. Let's cut it in half. 28 and half is 14, and that's 50. They're both still even. I'm going to cut it in half one more time. That's 7, 25. All right, and there's my answer. Okay, a cat spends 7 out of 10 hours sleeping. About what percent of the cat's day is spent sleeping? 7 out of 10. I want to get that to a percent. i got to get it out of 100 times 10 times 10, 70. 70 percent. A cat sleeps for 70 percent, about 70 percent of the day. Quite a little life those kitty cats have. Okay, number 11. A survey showed that 82 percent of youth most often use the internet at home. What fraction of youth surveyed most often use the internet somewhere else? Okay, so if it's 82, here's where you got to think a little bit. They want somewhere else. So if it's 82% use the Internet at home, um, I'm going to do 82. I'm going to take it away from 100. Subtract it. That's a 0. There's a 10. That's 9. That's 10. That's 8. 18. So 82% is at home, and it means 18% is somewhere else, okay? Because 82 and 18% would be 100%, and that's all the time. You're either going to use the Internet at home, or you're going to use it somewhere else. So those two things have to add up to be 100%, which means all the time, everything. So I just subtracted 82% uh, from 100%. And it got me my 18%. Now, what fraction? It doesn't want a percent. It wants a fraction. So I'm going to take my 18 out of 100 and then simplify it. Divided by 2, divided by 2, gets me 9, 50. I can't go any simpler than that. So 9 out of 50, or 9 fiftieths, use the Internet somewhere else. Okay, you got to kind of really think about these questions. Uh, Cedro collects state quarters. He has 42 out of 50 available quarters. What is 42 out of 50 as a percent? So 42 out of 50, I want that as a percent. So I'm going to get that to 100, which I know I can do easily, times 2, times 2, gets me to 84. 84 at 100 is 84 percent, and that's my answer. 84 percent of the quarters are available to him. Okay. And the last one, number 13. Okay, we've got to use this table here. We have uh, used the table to determine what percent of students prefer school uniforms and what percent do not. Okay, so I want a percent here and a percent here. I'm going to get it into a fraction first. So the way I get it into a fraction, I know I have 1, 2, there's 5, 10, 15. I have 16 for no, 1, 2, 3, 4. Four for yes. So there's 20 total students. So the no equals 16 out of 20. And the yes equals 4 out of 20. Those are my fractions, but it wants um, percents. Percents. Okay? Um, so I'm going to take this into a percent. I have to get this to 100 times 5 times 5. And if I do that, 16 times 5 is 80. So this one equals 80%. So 80% 80 
would say no to school uniforms. 80% say no. Let's see what this percentage. It's 20, so I'm going to do the same thing by times 5 to get it to 100. Times 5, that's 20. So 20% say yes. 20%. Now, how do those relate? Because we've used all the students in the survey, we know we have to have 100%. So 80 plus 20 gives me 100% of the vote. Um, 80 say no school uniforms. 20 say yes. 20%. Okay? All right. Go ahead and go on to um, extra practice on page 107. And uh, go ahead and do the whole page, 20 through uh, 31. Um, come see me if you have any questions.